hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make it an eight pieces blouse with a yoke so i have my interface here that is my tissue gum so i have my tissue gum i have my lace this is the lace that i'll be using i'm using a yellow lace i have my normal lining i bought a cotton lining for this blouse i have my doll face and i have my tissue gum so for the center for the design at the center of this blouse i will use a button for that design i want to use a button for the design so i made a custom button for this blouse so i also have my pattern paper we will do our pattern drafting so this is a crinoline. line i want to add a crinoline line to this blouse i want to add the crinoline line at the hem line so here is my pattern paper i have drafted my boss points under boss half length the full length of the blouse. the full length is 25. so i'll mark my dart line that is four inches then i will draw a straight line i will extend this dart line to my chest line and down to my full length i did not add any allowance to the full length of this blouse for now because this pattern paper is not more than 25 inches so i'll extend the chest line i will go up by one inch or 1.5 depending on how high you want it to be then i extended the line then from there you will make your sweetheart curve you will curve it to enter the armhole line you can see that that won't enter the armhole line then for the center if you want it to stop at the chest line fine if you want it to reach the bust point fine but my own stopped around um, 1.5 inch above the bust point so that is the for the yoke so i'll label the yoke my yoke is out now so at the under bust, I will go in by two inches. I just want to remove two inches from this um, that line. I don't want the cup to be too deep. Then I marked a straight line down. Remember, I am marking a straight line for now. I don't want to add the fish shape or the flay shape to my blouse for now. So from there, I will connect it to the bust point then at the chest line at the chest line area i want to do my upper bust tightening there i will go in by one inch then from that one inch i will connect back to my bust point so like i told you guys everything is still straight you can see that the down part of this blouse is still straight i have not added any fish shape or any flare shape to it i will add that when i am cutting it out on the fabric so if you want to cut this eight pieces blouse this is just the best way for you it is very very easy just draft it straight straight then after you will go ahead and add your flay shape or your a-line shape to it or fish shape anyone so this pattern paper the center front is not on fold the blouse will have a joining at the center front so the center front of this pattern paper is not on fold it will not be on fold when cutting it out it will have a joining at the center because we are cutting an eight pieces blouse i don't know if you get so i'll notch my underboss so after notching my underboss i'll place the center pattern on the side so that the breast curve will be covered you can see that you are no longer seeing that you're no longer seeing the breast curve so you go ahead and take your bust measurement her bust is 40 divided by 4 that is 10 plus 2 inches seam allowance her waist is 35 divided by 4 that is 8.75 something around that plus 2 inches seam allowance that would be 10.75 or something then i will mark a straight line from the under boss down to the half length i will connect the under boss to the half length then from there i will connect to my boss measurement then at the full length of this blouse that is the full length at the full length of this blouse you are going to add you are going to divide your hip by four so her hip is 45 i divided 45 her hip is 44 sorry i divided 44 by 4 that is 11 plus 2 inches seam allowance that is 13 and i marked that then from the waist i connected to 
the full length so at the full length divide your hip by four use your hip measurements at your full length then after that i will come up by two inches that is at the side of this blouse i will come up by two inches and then i will curve i don't want the side part to be too pointy i don't know if you get so after that i will cut out the curve and i will cut out the um, remaining pattern paper at the side so for the back the back is a kind of easier just place your front on the back pattern you can see that the breast curve is not showing the center piece is covering the breast curve that is how you will place it on your pattern paper then you go ahead and trace out the shape of this front on the back so at the back i will not add any dots I will not add any that i just want to manipulate things so i will go ahead and trace out this pattern so i am currently tracing the the center back this is the center back i have not added my zipper allowance to my center back so i will trace it and i will also trace the neckline like the wideness of the neck i will indicate where the wideness of the neck is then i will go ahead and extend the center line to the neckline then the next thing that i will do is to trace out my armhole trace out your shoulder slant trace out your armhole then also trace out the side of this pattern like if you don't want to do a lot of measurements just place it this way place your yoke place the center and the side and then trace out everything then also trace out the down part or, or the full length of this blouse the curve and the everything so i am done tracing and if i remove the front pattern this is what i have so right now you can use your ruler or your pattern master to connect the rough lines so you can see we have the shape of a blouse then for the depth of the neckline i did 1.5 there i used 1.5 for the depth of the neckline at the back then i will connect it to the wideness to the width of the neck remember i marked where the width of the front neckline stopped at. then for the yoke i want the yoke to stop at 10 inches from the shoulder so i measured 10 from the shoulder and that is where the yoke for the back will stop at i want the yoke to come down a bit so i'll label my yoke my back part will have a yoke so from the center line you come in by four inches this four inches is a dart line though i am not adding a dart to this blouse but i marked this four inches because we are cutting an eight pieces blouse so this is where i would divide my blouse from that that was why i came in by four inches i marked more like a dart line then from the center i will add two inches for my zipper allowance two inches i want to use two inches for the zipper allowance so this zipper allowance to reach the neckline i want the zipper of this blouse to reach the neckline then i'll also extend my neckline so that is it so also extend your yoke line remember i said that the yoke area will have a zipper allowance too but if you don't want your yoke area to have a zipper allowance it is fine also so i have labeled my zipper allowance and right now i will go ahead and cut out this zipper allowance i will cut out the zipper allowance the neckline the armhole the side and i will also cut out my yoke remember i will use a skin net for my yoke so i'll cut out the down part of this blouse also and this blouse is an eight pieces blouse so after cutting out your yoke you will go ahead and divide the rest of this blouse so i'll cut out my yoke and then i will divide this from that four inches line that i marked initially so i hope this back part is easy if you are confused please ask your question in the comment section so here is the back this is what we have so using the front to cut out the back is easier for me and right now i have added my tissue gum to my doll face i added the tissue gum to the doll face and to the lining then right now i'll start adding my fish shape so 
on each side of the pattern paper i will add four inches or three inches it depends on how wide you want your flay to be so just add four four inches on each side or three three inches on each side so remember to add half an inch seam allowance around the bust point area under bust so i you know my camera was not recording at this point but i will explain better so it didn't capture some area so this is for the side piece you remember to add half an inch seam allowance around the from the boss point down to the half length then from there i added four four inches on each side of this pattern and at the full length remember to add one inch seam allowance i did not add any seam allowance to my blouse when i was cutting like to the full length of the blouse so remember to add one inch seam allowance to your full length add half an inch seam allowance around the that area so this is the center front i added four four inches on on each side of this blouse and it will start from the half length the fish shape will start from the half length and then it will connect to where you marked your four inches or your three inches so you can see i am adding the fish shape to each side of this blouse to each piece of this blouse so at the side piece you can add just two inches so that it will not be too pointy that is at the side at the side piece so make sure that all of them are equal that is for the front so for the back i will fold my doll face adding a tissue gum to your door to your doll face and to your lining is very important it will make this blouse to be very firm and beautiful so i will fold my fabric and first of all i will cut out the side back so this is the side of the back i will go ahead and add one inch seam allowance to the full length i will add three inches for the flay shape or for the fish shape at the side i added just two inches i don't want it to be too pointy so after that i will add half an inch seam allowance around the dart line and when i reach the half length i will connect to that three inches that i added at the full at the full length of this blouse for the fish shape or for the flea shape so for the side you don't need to add any half an inch seam allowance because we have already added two inches when we are cutting this so i am done with the side piece here is the center piece of the back so i'll place my pattern paper on it and i will determine the half length i did not notch the half length please if you are cutting remember to notch the half length of each piece you are cutting so i subtracted 10 remember our yoke stopped at 10 so it helped me to determine my half length so my fish shape will start at that half length so right now i will add three inches seam allowance on each side of this flay both at the zipper allowance side add your three inches and then add the three inches at the other side so right now i will go ahead and cut i will not add any half an inch around the zipper allowance area because i have my zipper allowance already i'll only add the half an inch around the dart line so i am done cutting out the fish shape for the zipper allowance i added one inch allowance to the full length remember then at the other side i added half an inch and then from there i will connect to that three inches that i added for the fish shape then notch your half length remember to notch your half length it is very very important so i am done cutting out on my doll face i will cut everything the same way on the lining so you can see the center back and the side back i have them already so i'll place the yoke so that you guys can see what it looks like so that is the yoke for the back so after joining the the pieces of the back i will join the yoke i don't know if it is making sense now so that is all for the back i will still cut them out on my list i will cut every everything out on my list sorry so i'll also show you guys the front pieces so this these are the front pieces i have the center front and the side and i also have the yoke i have cut out the yoke for the them 
for the up for this for the front sorry so after joining the side and the center you go ahead and join the you i hope you guys understand now if you are confused you can drop your question in the comment section so i'll cut out my lace for this front part also and i'll also cut out the lining so right now i will cut out the pad so remember to notch your under bust. i told you guys to notch the under bust of each piece that you cut so that you not get confused so for the front piece remember it has a joining at the center if you want your pad to reach that joining fine but for me i don't want the pad to reach the joining so it will start at the under bust and then it will start it will stop at least at half an inch before the neckline i don't want it to reach the neckline so that joining the yoke could be very easy for me so here is the space that i left for the for the center front that is where i will join the two center pieces from so this is for the side i'll also go ahead and cut out the side part so after cutting this out the part that i'm using has a gum you have to buy a part that has a gum it will help you a lot or a wording that has a gum so after that you will add the part to the door face before joining the lace on top so that is it for now the next thing that i will do is to cut my sleeve i will start with the fitted part of the sleeve so the fitted part started from the ankle and stopped at the wrist it will start from the ankle and then stop at the wrist so i want to use this scallop design at the lace i want to on the lace i want to i want it to be at my wrist area so i will place my full length you can place 25 if 25 is your full length so 24 is the full length of this blouse of this sleeve sorry then 12 is my ankle that was why i marked the 12 inches so place 25 at the design of this lace place it on the design of this lace then determine where your ankle measurement is if your ankle measurement is 13 or 11 you will mark it but mine is 12 so i marked the 12 then the round ankle is 12 inches is 12 inches i marked the 12 plus one inch seam allowance then i also marked my wrist measurement my wrist is eight inches plus one inch seam allowance that is nine inches so i marked the the measurements and i also cut out so now i want to cut out the puffy part of this sleeve so you will fold your door face i want to add a door face to the lace of that part for the fitted part of the sleeve it will not have any door face but the puffy part of this sleeve will have a door face so the, it will start from the shoulder and stop at the ankle then from the shoulder to the ankle is 12 inches but i added extra four inches you can add extra five inches to the length so that when you are done gathering it will look full i don't know if you understand so from the shoulder to where this puff will stop is 12 but i marked 17 18 so that after joining it will look very full so right now i am cutting out the puffy part of the sleeve and then after cutting this you will also cut it out on the lace you will cut it out on the lace but if you want to sew it without the door face lining it is okay but it will be better if you add a door face to it so right now i'll go ahead and cut it out on mine lace so after cutting this out i will also cut the peplum part of that sleeve this sleeve has three parts it has the puffy part the peplum part and the fitted part so after cutting this out i will cut the peplum part so my round for the peplum part my round ankle is 12 inches so you will divide the 12 by 6.28 whatever you got to be your radius for that peplum for the peplum around that ankle area so after cutting this lace out i will fold my door face i will fold it four times so that i can cut out my peplum once so i am done with the puffy sleeve right now i will fold my 
double face four times so that i can get my sleeve one so after folding it i used 2.5 inches for the radius 2.5 so after marking the 2.5 the full length of this peplum the peplum is small the full length is 5 inches but i added 1 inch for seam allowance making it 6 inches so after marking the radius i marked 6 inches then after that i will cut out so i'll also cut this out on my lace it will have a lace and it will also have a line and i don't know if you get so this is what it looks like so here are the pieces for the back i am done cutting them out on my lace and my lining so i'm just trying to open it up so that you guys can see what they look like so here is the center the here are the center back pieces so i'll also add the side remember to notch them you can even label them so that you will not misplace any side so this one is for the right side and I also place the left piece so that you guys can see how it looks So I'll go ahead and join my lace on each of them before joining. So after joining, you can see what I have right there. So this is for the back. So please do not misplace anyone. Instead of getting confused, label all of them with your pen. You can label them right, left, center, back, side, back, so that you not get confused. So this is for the front. I have not added my pad, but I am done cutting out the lace. So I'll place my lace on them. I have two now. Then the center front is also two. That is eight pieces. We have four at the front and four at the back. So you can see I notched my underboss so that I'll know where my pad will stop at. And if I'm joining, it will also help me to join accurately. So guys, this is where we will end today's video because this video is long. So I had to divide the cutting parts from the i had to subtract the cutting parts from the sewing part so turn on your notification bell so that when i upload the sewing video you will get notified i will try and upload it tomorrow please guys do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that when i upload the sewing video you will not miss out i'll also drop the link to our telegram group so that you can join our telegram group if you have any video request you can easily send it there so thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video bye